Hey Black Lines, uh, we're going to do two, two videos today. Uh, the first one here is just going to be a couple of rapid fire questions. And then the second one, uh, we're going to uh, go into a little bit deeper. Will those that are flagged and or receiving Art of 15s be able to take block leave? Yes. If our soldier wears a mask, can it be in black? Uh, as of today, April 7th at uh, 1223, yes. Will there be a change to the 50 mile radius of travel? And if so, will the distance be shortened? Uh, I'm not considering a change at the task force level. Uh, I've not heard of any discussion at the uh, Fort Benning level from the senior responsible officer, Major General Brito. I would imagine that decision would be uh, conditions based, uh, but as of right now, I've, I've heard no discussion as to limiting the 50 mile to anything further than that, or less than that, I'm sorry. Have the higher ups reached out to the families and single soldiers to see how they are doing? Uh, so every day your soldiers uh, are, are being reached out to by their chain of command at a minimum. Uh, so there's daily check-ins that go on that include Saturday and Sunday. And um, you know, in terms of higher ups, uh, I know that some of the company command teams have been getting involved with uh, some soldiers and families that have had more uh, challenging times. Um, but that's, that's really kind of the, the extent of the higher ups, I'd say, is, is mostly command teams uh, at the company level. And then I know I've interacted with soldiers here at work um, uh, and, and talked about what's going on in a few families here and there. But uh, for the most part, it, it is a company, uh, company level command. Is the DFAC opened all week for the soldier who lives in barracks? Yes, uh, DFAC's open seven days a week right now. Uh, that's so that we don't have to go down to the OCS DFAC on the weekends and uh, mix in with the OCS so they have one population. Is AER open for families who need help? Yes, absolutely. So uh, first of all, AER has gone to uh, online submissions. So I recommend you start there and we'll go ahead and provide the link at the end of this video. Uh, but but good, good time to highlight the Army Emergency Relief Fund is really about soldiers helping soldiers. Uh, so in this time, you know, some folks are actually saving a little bit of money because they're not driving as much uh, and, and things like that. Uh, consider giving to AER. Uh, that's one way we can help our fellow soldiers. Uh, many have been recipients of loans and grants. Some of us may need to be recipients of those things in the future. It's not just about the current pandemic we're in. Uh, soldiers use those to sometimes go home to see a family member who's deceased or if, uh, you know, if there's a natural disaster that strikes. There's a lot of different ways that AER helps soldiers. So by all means, if you have the ability to give, uh, now is definitely a time to consider it. 